alongside one of the Bataclan assailants. The 29-year-old Paris native known as Omar was often seen praying at this mosque near Chartres. We haven't seen this individual since we came to this mosque, since we took over in 2013. We practically haven't seen him since 2013. On Saturday, his brother and father were taken in for questioning, as well as other family members. French police are looking to confirm whether the man took a trip to Syria between 2013 and 2014. His record includes eight convictions dating between 2004 and 2010 for common law offenses. He has never been incarcerated and was signaled to French authorities for his religious radicalization. However, he had not been involved or associated with any terrorist activities. In Brussels this Sunday, police arrested seven people in a huge sweep. On Saturday, this man was also arrested allegedly for having rented the car used by three terrorists at the Bataclan concert venue. He's thought to have been in the French capital at the moment of the attacks. On the morning of November the 14th, this person was controlled on the France-Belgium border. He was driving a different car, not a Seat, nor Apollo, but a third one. In the car, there were two other passengers who are Brussels residents. The Paris prosecutor explained that the man in question is a French citizen and that French intelligence had no prior record of him. At the site of the Stade de France explosions, investigators found two passports, one Egyptian and the other Syrian. This last document is of particular interest because while unknown to French intelligence services, it has been signaled by Greek and Serbian authorities. The passport belongs to a migrant who transited through the island of Liros where his fingerprints were taken. He then entered Serbia on October 7th where he applied for asylum. As for the attacks on several restaurants in the 10th arrondissement, a black Seat car containing three Kalashnikovs was found in the Paris suburb of Montreuil. Authorities have not confirmed that the car was the one driven by the terrorists as they opened fire, killing and wounding dozens of people.